Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am gonna do a flip through of my current glue book. It's just the beginning. I've only done the bases, and to me that means it's just like the first layer. I'm working on my layering right now, so I intend to add at least three more layers to this. I don't know how long that would take, and I don't know uh, when I'll give you an update, but I promise when it has moved into a new realm, I will give you an update. So this is just really for archival purposes and just so I can watch my own glue book grow. So I did a lot of things wrong with this book. Um, Oh, and I'm going to leave all of my mistakes so that I can see what I did. So the first thing, I, I made the book itself a long time ago. And what I did is I glued two scrap pages together. And those that was my white space that I then glued things down to. It's just, you can tell if you put it flat, it's just an 8 by 11 computer sheet cut in half. They were glued together first and then I cut them in half. Um... Someone told me on the internet somewhere <clears throat> that this would give it more weight so it could take more glue. And as I'm planning to add more layers, I hope that is true. So another thing that I did wrong, it has way too many pages. I don't remember how many right now. We'll count them as we go, maybe. Um, but you can see it has this V that it's just absolutely not supposed to have. That's because it's just way too many pages. You could see how thick the binding is here. No good. So I should have, before I started, cut these even. But honestly, it just didn't look that bad until I had added all this bulk. And once I had added all the bulk, then it got really bad. So that's why people tell you to cut your pages. Um, they're not kidding. So we're just going to flip through and see where we are with the vibe right now. I will, as I said, I'll give you an update when it changes. I have to add a cover because, as you can see, it's already getting fruit caked here. Um... So I'll have to add another cover. I don't know what I'll do there because I hadn't planned on having an additional cover. But here we go. I try to always do some, some kind of welcome at the beginning of a book if I can. So some of the pages are vertical and some of them are horizontal. I have every intention on coming back and doing like washi or paint or borders or something. But I just wanted to document the bases. I tried to just stay thinking about um, colors and vibes. So this was, you know, for me, glue books are just places to put cool stuff. I don't have another place to put them. Like, I don't have a flower book specifically, so a lot of flowers ended up in this one because uh, I don't really have, like, a specific place for them. You can also see I'm, like, futzing with the sides of the pages. This is why us crazy junk journalers sometimes add tabs to every single page because it's just easier to find the edge of the page when they're so thick. And, uh... I might do that with this book. I might add a tab to every page just to make it slightly easier. Oh, this is both. Oh, how strange See, like, is this? It is two pages. See, it's, like, weird. This is why tabs are helpful. This is just a vibes page, and I already did add a border here, which is nice. And I did two images here. Very risque for me right now. Ah, oh, love that. Do you see this lion? It's the Dolce & Gabbana lion. I love it. This is our center. I didn't really think about how I'd be covering her face with the yarn in the center, uh, but I like it a lot. I do really like this. Dolce & Gabbana. Some of these are straight from, I think it's a French Vogue. Like, I keep a lot of these house wares things and then have no plan on where to put them. I just love them so much. So glue books tend to be, I guess I'm finding my own theme with glue books. It tends to be miscellaneous fashion, textures, flowers, and house stuff or architectural stuff. I love this page like so much. She is so badass and I love her like power above her. Makes me very happy. Isn't this the coolest image? Vogue is so cool. Oh, praying mantis. So I had to cut this one because it's on two separate pages. Let me tell you. 
And it was a little stressful to cut. He's got a devil. Two directions here. I do like how she's looking through the earth. And that's our end with the heart and needs a border and this is the end. So when you so when I was doing it, it was a lot of like lying flat. It was actually really easy to do without this. I'll show you exactly what I was doing. Is I'd flip through like this and be like, oh, I want to add it here. And then I'd take this off take out the page that I needed, leave it like that, and then add the thing. Now, this means a million times, maybe only four times, I put it on the wrong side <laughs> and had to take it off and redo it. But then it's really easy to put back together because all the pages are so fluid. So this is my current glue book. <clears throat> I have no idea what is in store for its next for the, for the coming layers, I do know it very desperately needs a cover probably first. So first I'm going to find it a cover and then I'm going to go through with washi to clean up those borders and then we'll see and I will update you when I know. Thanks for stopping by. Like and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much.